next we're going to talk about the bomb and routing selection so basically in this topic what we're going to learn is how the production order will pick up the bomb and routing if you have more than one bomb and routing then what are the criteria for the production order to select what are the priorities and what are the customizing settings and options available with us for selection of the routing and the bomb so in today's class the topics that we're going to cover they are parameters for selecting the bomb parameters for selecting the routing and the corresponding customizing settings so first of all we'll start with bomb explosion so with respect to the bomb explosion like in the previous uh, topics we have learned about or how we can create the bill of material how we can create multi multi-level bomb different bombs for the same product now today we're going to learn about what are the priorities we have how does the system know that I need to select which bomb and from which alternative and all that so basically first of all we'll talk about the priority of the bomb so <clears throat> these are the sequences you can see the system will look for for the selection of a bomb first of all it will check what is the first priority what is the first priority of the bomb now when I say first priority for the usage so usage means for example let me show you this one so whenever you create a bomb if I go to CS01 so earlier we selected a usage so usage we selected earlier was production which is relevant to us so one first one which is number one usage is a production so how does the system know during the production or the creation that it should be picking up the one usage which is production and how does it can pick up the alternative usage for example it, you can maintain uh, usage one for production and also usage five for sales and distribution which is used for the sales order bomb now we do not want to use the sales order bomb so how does the system know that it should only and only pick up the first one so that's the one we're talking here so uh, so uh, bomb usage what is a bomb usage so we will be discussing one by one each of them and then we'll also talk about like if you have more than one bomb for the same product then which alternative will be picked up what are the other options if you want to pick up by date by production version and all that so the priority theoretically the steps to determine the valid bomb during MRP then so these are the steps that MRP, MRP will be looking for while selecting the right bomb during the MRP run. So first of all during planning run system first checks which bomb usage has the highest priority. It, it then check if the usage has a valid bomb on the explosion rate. So first of all it will check which bomb usage number one number five like sales and distribution one is production which usage has the highest priority that we customize uh, in SPRO that we'll see in a minute so first it will check which is has a highest priority second then it will check if there are different bomb alternatives the system checks which alternative corresponds to the prerequisites of the alternative selection for example uh, you can have more than one bomb for the same product so system will be looking for that okay do I need to select as per the production version or the lot size or the explosion dates so different options we will we'll going to talk in today's class as well third the change status on the explosion date is determined from the selected bomb alternative so system is also looking for the explosion date that also we'll discuss in a minute the bomb items relevant to production are copied to the planned order so whatever bomb system will be selecting so maybe there are a couple of bomb system will be picking up the right bomb then it will be copying the bomb items to your production order and or the planned order the dependent quantity is determined by the factor in the bomb item and how much quantity should be picking up well will be dependent on the bomb item for example to make uh, a pump probably you need 20 of the screws and maybe 50 of the nuts so the factor to create one if you need 10 pieces for example the raw material then to create 100 you need proportional 
so that's the that's the meaning of the last line the dependent quantity is determined by the factor in the bomb item the dependent requirement date is determined in accordance with the scheduling of the superior assembly so the dip, the requirement date of all the dependent item will be depending on the dates of their superior assembly that means if an item is used in a bomb then depending on the header level of the finished product level what their dates are the bomb item dependent requirement will be dependent on that on the superior assembly or the finished product and bomb must be maintained in the appropriate plant in order to carry out the planning and so obviously we need to maintain the bomb for the particular plant where you want to run the MRP now we'll see these things one by one so selection of the bomb usage so as I just discussed that we we have different bomb usage when you create CS01 you can select one as a usage here you can select one two three so we, we use one earlier for production so how does the system know from the customizing point of view that I need to select the first one <laughs> and if there are alternatives then if system will pick up or not that we also can customize so probably you can maintain in in the in the bomb probably you have uh, created maybe two or three different versions so first one is the production bomb you created which is using number one then you created engineering bomb as well then you also created the costing bomb so in the customizing you can say that okay production bomb is a first priority second priority is the engineering bomb and third priority is the costing bomb so that means if system find production bomb it will copy and finish the process if it if the production bomb is not maintained then system will look for the engineering bomb if it is there then it will be copied if not then the system will be looking for the costing bomb so that's how the system can prioritize that which is the first priority which is the second and so on so to go to the customizing to see this one so here you can see let me show you you can follow this menu path that I mentioned at the bottom of the screen so if I go to SPRO then SAP reference IMG and then follow this path uh, production MRP planning and then bomb explosion the last one is bomb explosion and here you can see the defined bomb selection if you see this one defined bomb selection here you can maintain that for this plan for example we're talking about the plan number thousand here you can say selection is zero one so what is zero one so if you open that the search screen here for 01 bomb selection ID you can see this is bomb selection ID so here we selected ID number one you can see we have different IDs if you see the first column you have different IDs so let me sort it again so let me select it again give me a second so if I if I select it again so here you can see first column if you keep an eye on the first column selection ID 01020304050 and 40 so we have selected 01 so 01 is saying my first priority is usage number 1 which is production then my second priority is, is usage number 3 which is universal bomb that you can see in CS01 and the last and the third priority is usage number 2 which is engineering bomb so as I said earlier if if you have maintained the bomb with usage 1 it will be copied and finish if not then system will look for 3 if not then system will look for 2 number bomb usage if none of them are uh, created then system will will not find any bomb it will stop the search so that's how the usage is maintained even similar similar type of setting is done for routing so you can see the other one is for routing